What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a video on basically reselling stuff around the house. Where is my progress so far? How much have I actually made? Is it worth still doing? So on and so forth. The cool thing about this video too is like any of you guys can do this yourself. Everyone has extra stuff lying around the house. Don't be a scummy reseller. Go to Goodwills and things like that and buy stuff that other families in need probably could use like really nice shoes and things of that nature or geez like health devices. Um, don't be flipping CPAPs, like none of that stuff. Like leave that alone. Pe families in need need that stuff. But when it comes to coins, clothing, there's an abundance of clothing. There's abundance of coins out there. You're not going to hurt a family if you're basically buying a coin and reselling it, you know, for a profit. So that's where I like to do. I enjoy collecting coins. I enjoy selling them. I enjoy sharing it with others. And it's kind of cool to me of a hobby that I enjoy doing because I love to educate myself on stuff. I actually make some money doing it as well. So it's kind of like an added bonus. But if you just go into everything saying money, 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 you're going to fail. It's you, you're, you, money is not everything, right? So Anyways, here's an example of something I just sold today. This is my most recent sale. These are the photos I took of the item. I purchased this item for $1.40. I bought some like dude's you know, war nickel collection about a year and a half ago, and they're finally starting to sell. Yeah, they have 30% off. Made it, you know, I made I did make a nice profit on this actual coin itself. Um, I was able, actually able to make a $7.92 profit off of this coin. And I was able to hold on to it, take photos of it. I think it's cool. It's a war nickel. It's a nice condition one. You can do this too. Um, wanted to basically focus today's video on where I'm at so far year to date. So, so far I've sold 20,159. That's what eBay does for me. It kind of tracks every day, the daily process. The true actual items I've sold is in revenue is $20,450. And that's the last 123 days. So today is May 3rd. And this is just data going back to the beginning of the year. And I do, I spend about two hours a day doing this. Um, it's kind of fun for me. Um, and it's not every single day, but on average, it's about two hours a day. So um, looking at the total profit so far this year, $8,527, I'm making about $34.67 an hour after all expenses, um, so on and so forth. So pretty decent side gig, but I'm doing it for fun, guys. I'm not doing this to, um, you know, feed the family per se. It is nice to get this extra money coming in to help with the inflationary things of insurance, uh, gas, food, all the other stuff. So it, that's like an added bonus, but it's not a necessity. Um, but it is cool. Like anybody can do this is basically what I'm getting at. You don't have to be like some expert. You don't have to follow some like entertainment purposes only reseller online where they show like going to goodwill bins and flea markets and grabbing all these like grail items and making hundreds of dollars of profit. Um, you don't have to be that person. First, just start with the, the crap, the extra crap. We're Americans, right? Everyone's got extra crap lying around their house. Stuff that you don't care about anymore. Stuff you haven't used. So I'm going to go through my uh, recent sales. But first, I want to show you that I am a real life. Like I do this part time and I do do, do do this real life. So I have 1,282 items listed in my store right now. So here's some of the items I have in my store. Clothes, coins, old CDs, dog clothes. DVDs, an old mitt um, that's actually brand new that a Mizuno rip I, I, I did a service for. Um, he gave me this for my daughter. My daughter and I were tried out for softball, so I've been sitting on this thing for like eight years. So some kid, I hope, can take it full advantage of this, get this for like half price, half off retail. No one's bought it yet, but I'd rather do that than like donate to my Goodwill and then some scumbag reseller goes and grabs the mitt and resells it themselves when a, truly a kid could use this. So I'd rather be... I'd rather cut out the reseller middleman and I'd rather be the guy that helps this family out that needs a, a mitt for their daughter for softball. You know, that stuff's expensive too, like joining clubs, leagues, all this stuff. Even families that have the money, it hurts. It really hurts because some of these travel teams are thousands of dollars. Uh, old soldering iron that I no longer used or soldering kit. I think I used this a few times to fix some stuff and then I never used it again. So that's like a fourth of the price. So hopefully someone that needs a soldering kit to fix something um, can take advantage of that. Um, this this coin here I picked up recently. I like to you know buy graded coins. So DVD, uh, shoes, I'll never, these are my own daughter's shoes that I cleaned up. I thought I would sell them real fast because they're Nike Air Force Ones. Those are the most, uh, most sought after shoe, but no one wants an old 
beat up pair. So if you're watching those resellers out there that go and buy these shoes, and then they, they, they say they clean them up and fix them up, and then they make $20, $30, $40, $50 profit, those are lies. The people that are buying the shoes from those resellers are typically their fans or their subscribers. In real life, nobody wants your old stinky shoes. Even people in need, they want the newer ones. So I probably will never do that again. I'm just going to donate them. Um, maybe someone can take advantage, you know, take, take advantage or uh, like a family need could use them, but uh, I'm not going to throw them in the trash. Uh, so, and then like stuff like this, like dog clothes. Yeah. I got $50 on a juicy couture dog clothes. Cause some other person sold theirs for 125. So I, I'll give it a shot. Our, our dog passed away before she could even wear this. Um, I don't think my daughter spent more than 10 bucks on this because the four hour 21 by us, uh, in Rosemont was, was having a sale or going out of business. So, um, but I'm thinking now the person that sold this dog suit, exact same one for $125. I bet you they're like a YouTube reseller lady and one of her fans bought, bought that from her to support the channel. Cause this thing has been sitting and that comp is within like the last month. So very surprised that this hasn't sold. So anyways, you get the idea. It's clothing, it's stuff around. The, again, I'm not, and I'm not the guy going, buying women's clothes. These are, you know, my kids old clothes. Um, you know, youth pants here. That's probably from when my kids were like junior high. One of their friends came over and left their pants. You know, that's what happens, guys. When you have kids, um, other kids come over. They have parties or they, you know, they, they mess, you know, um, they have, you know, they have their friends over. And then like they like the clothes, sometimes the clothes just get left. <laughs> That's just what happens. So anyways, you get the idea. There's so there's not a lot of toys. Like this is my old Blackhawks thing from when I was a kid. Again, I found that in a bin. Like, why not list it? Like, dude, the thing's been sitting in a bin for over 30 years. Might as well have someone like who enjoys the Blackhawks um, buy this and put it in their man cave. Like, I think that's cool. Wasn't doing me any good, you know, sitting in there. So anyways, you get the idea. Even like old books, like the Goonies book and things like that. So um, so yes, it's nice to have all this stuff listed. And that's a majority of the time that I'm putting in, like the two hours per day, is to list like my old stuff and obviously the stuff that I buy to resell, which is mainly just coins. So I've done all that. And then I actually do have real life sales. So again, I had 12, what was it, 1282, and 1282 total listed items. But in the last 90 days... I've sold 561 items. So that is a really good sell through. You don't want to have a thousand items in your store and 10 sales. That sucks in the last 90 days. If you have a thousand items in your store, you want to have at least 500 sold in the last 90 days. And if you don't, you're pricing things too high or you're listing absolute garbage that nobody wants, or you're just doing a terrible job listing or describing the item, meaning no one can find this on eBay. So you have to look at everything as a buyer to in order to have successful sales. So 561 out of 1282, that's almost a 50% um, resale uh, percentage or whatever you want to call it, uh, 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 sell through rate, I guess is what they say. And again, these albums here, I did a prior video last week. I picked these up uh, for 10 bucks a piece and sold all 11 of them. So I'm going to go back to my local coin shop. Hopefully they have some more. This was the biggest, um, one that I made profit on. But bottom line is all 11 albums, I put one ton into it. I wasn't in there to buy albums that day. I was in there to sell some stuff that wasn't selling for me and also have them check on a gold ring that they were taking to the smelter. So anyways, ended up spending one ton, sold everything, took me less than two hours to list everything and ship it and made uh, $201.59. So almost doubled my money off 110. Like who would want to do that? And is finding an album in a store and selling it to another collector who doesn't have access to these, they don't make these anymore, is that gonna take food out of, is that gonna hurt a family? No, absolutely not. This is actually helping somebody, not hurting somebody. So don't resell to hurt, resell to help, and you will do very, very well. And again, you guys might think of it as a monetary position, but if you guys have, like seriously, if you have good stuff lying around your house and you are no longer using it, donate it, I like to skip the donation part because I'd rather get some money out of it that I can use for other things, but I'd rather be the guy that gives the good deal to someone that wants something versus donating it, you know, donating good stuff and then, you know, waiting for a reseller to grab it away from that family. I'd really be the direct person. So I hopefully I get more of a following on my channel, people that need stuff besides people that collect stuff because obviously a lot of you guys collect coins and that's why you watch me. but. 
Um, I like to also be helpful with other things. The other thing too, guys, if you have Wii Sports, if you have this game lying around your house, do not donate it. Do not sell it at the grass sale for a dollar. List it on eBay, you'll make $20 and almost instantaneously. So if you have Wii Sports, this is all you have to do. Take a picture of the front, take a picture of the back, take a picture of the, the CD inside or the game inside, and a, and a picture of the disc. And make sure it's not scratched to hell. This one had some marks on it, so I marked it as very good. But it's still playable. I knew this plays. This is the disc that comes with every single Wii system. And it's the most highly sought after game because everybody loves Wii Sports. So do not include this with your Wii gaming system. Um, you probably have it still sitting in your Wii gaming system, meaning when you power it up and you hit the eject button, um, chances are this is the game that's going to pop out of it. But what I'm getting at is if you have this lying around your house, as most people do that bought a Nintendo Wii, um, do not donate it. Do not put in a grass sale for a dollar. List it on eBay. Make 20 bucks. Don't let another reseller make profit on this. This game is an instant. It's a Think of it as a $20 bill. Even though I got less than 20 after eBay fees, don't care. Think of it as a $20 bill. Don't just give it away. It's yours. You already paid good money for it. If you don't use it anymore, get rid of it. So again, I, I don't think this went to a reseller. I think this went to someone that actually wants this game. So again, I'm not stepping over anyone's toes. I'm not hurting some family that wants to play Wii Sports with their family by grabbing this at the Goodwill. or They're not going to have this at the Goodwill, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Or grabbing this at a garage sale. This is my own personal one sharing it with someone else and they're not a reseller now some of these things like this thing here i'm pretty darn sure remember i, I did a video on this last week um i found this in my garage so sad right i bought two of these i don't know what i was doing i was bored during the pandemic um, definitely paid more than 50 bucks for it but anyways this i was hoping that like some dude could use this to you know cut stuff or make something for their family pretty sure another reseller bought this from me because it's getting like shipped to some warehouse warehouse and maybe I was even just used as, as a drop shipper. So sometimes people will list this stuff brand new. They don't have it in stock and they rely on people like me that are blowing this out. And then they have it shipped directly to a warehouse, which then puts their retail packaging on it and then ships to the client. I think another reseller bought this for me, but whatever. Like it was, it's better than just sitting in the garage collecting dust. So it was a $50 bill. Um, so again, CDs, uh, BMW floor mats. I will never sell magazines again. I just decided to try that. That was a complete waste of time. So if you have old magazines, dude, either donate them or throw them, uh, throw them in the recycling bin. Do not try and resell old magazines unless they're like super, super old, but anything modern, total waste of time. And then old toys, more albums, DVD that was bought for to watch during Halloween, and they real and then my kids realized we don't have a DVD player in the house, so they just sat, literally sat in the cabinet for like three years. They probably spent a few bucks at it at Walmart, wherever they got it from. And then someone finally bought some comics from me. Um, again, I've had these comics laying around uh, for quite some time. I bought them from an estate sale from a gentleman that I actually bought a BMW from, and ended up, you know, I was flipping the BMW. He was so happened to have an estate sale the very following week. I went there very late on a Sunday grabbed a bunch of comics for like 10 cents a piece and i i finally listed them you know during the pandemic like three four years ago um you can tell my star if anything has a black background that's like my old that's not my old light booth that's just like the old i used to use a black background but now i use white for everything and these are my my old cds so anyways guys what i'm getting at is if you have stuff like this like old tools car polisher dvds clothing fishing magnet old game controllers, um, cat harness, <laughs> uh, old alarm clock, Santa, Santa sold in April, like crazy, right? Old calculators. Again, you, who you have this stuff lying around your house, either donate it. But again, I prefer to listen to IBM myself to learn like what the value of stuff is while I'm out there. Um, to get some money for the time that I put into it and, and, and I personally think it's better to sell stuff yourself because you were the one who put the money into it in the first place. Why not you reap some money out of it when you finally get rid of it? Now, again, if it's a, if it's a article of clothing that's maybe worth two bucks, well, that's not worth your time. You know, donate that. But anything decent of value that you've already spent the money on, you've already spent the interest on, if you use a credit card, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Like your hard-earned money and it's just lying around your house. Dude, get rid of it. Like sell it make some money off of it, reinvest that money into something else that you need, whether it's food, clothing, gas, insurance, 
or you know use it to fund your hobby like all this stuff so the hundred and whatever the the i put 110 i made 201 so the the 91 dollars uh profit that i made in a week just by picking up these um these dance go booklets and selling them on ebay yeah i put the time into it i, I put probably two hours into it so it's 45 dollars an hour but it was easy i knew what they were i didn't have to clean any of them i was using government packaging 7.99 to ship something out flat rate envelope you can stuff these albums in there put bubble wrap around it first but you know what i'm talking about um i now have 91 dollars in a week for something I enjoyed picking up, I knew someone would lo want, need these, so I'm sharing the hobby with others. And now I'm going to take that $91. I'm going to probably go buy more booklets, or I can use that $91 and get a really killer-looking BU Frosty Morgan and share that with you guys. So I look forward to going to the coin shop uh, tomorrow, Saturday, seeing if they have any albums. And now I'm going to take a look at some of their BU Morgans and just grab some of those and share that with you guys. So again, this is something you can do yourself to fund your hobby. It doesn't have to be coins. It could be cards, things like that. But um, it's definitely something you can do and it doesn't take a lot of time and you already have the stuff literally laying around. So again, this is my store. When you are selling stuff on eBay, plan on 35% of it going towards costs, 10% um, to eBay, the remaining costs going to shipping. Uh, ads, stores, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, and you do, it does make sense to run sales. If stuff is not selling, you've got a price too high. You didn't do a good enough job listing it, or you had no, like, and if something sells super, super fast, you probably did a bad job. You probably could have got a little bit more, but again, who cares? It, it, if it's stuff that you've already put money into and you haven't used it for over a year, get rid of it, turn it into money, feed your, use it to feed your family, use it to fight off this inflation that we're dealing with. Oh, inflation's on its way down. No, it's not, dude. Like go to Walmart and I go to Walmart. I don't really buy my groceries there, but I go down the, the aisles. I'm like, holy smokes, a bag of cookies for $5 at Walmart. Like what the hell's going on? Those things just be like two bucks or, you know, under $2. Everything is highly, highly inflated. It sucks right now. So turn that stuff into actual real money and don't give it away for another reseller to snipe it even though like i'm i've done it myself in my own ebay store but oh well i tried i tried to share it with someone family in need or some dude in need that doesn't have all the money wanted the tools you know i try but that is my motivation is to turn crap i don't need anymore share it with another family directly through ebay hopefully it's an actual family not a reseller and get rewarded monetarily for it but the real sharing is caring right guys so like i think if you have a um, frame of mind like that you're not going to fail and you're always going to do well so when i am listing something my thought process is like this is going to help someone else out not like oh i need this extra dollar so i'm going to be you know i'm going to go push the old lady out of the way and, and grab it before she does it the garage sale like that that's scummy I'm not that kind of person. And if you are, great, fantastic. That's the kind of person you are. You like to live life that way, fantastic. But I don't believe in that. I believe if you help others, you will naturally be rewarded in life. So anyways, guys, appreciate you guys watching my channel. Let me know in the comments if this is something interesting to you. Is this something you could do? Does this motivate you? Will this help you? Again, I'm a little different. You're not going to see me with a GoPro at a flea market at a, at a Goodwill bins. We don't have them around here anyways, or at Goodwill pushing pushing old ladies out of the way and grabbing clothes. You're not going to see that. That's not me. Um, I'll leave that for other channels for those entertainment purposes only. This is real life. Talk to you in the next one. Appreciate you watching.